These delightful vintage cat cards are made with chocolate and covered with wafer paper. Wafer paper is an edible starch-based food product, also known as rice paper. Don't confuse wafer paper with chocolate transfers, which are acetate paper with a cocoa butter imprint. Designs are printed with food-safe ink and are commonly seen on cakes and cookies. Wafer paper is available in a variety of festive designs to suit any project. I specifically chose these lovely Halloween vintage postcard motifs and singled out the black cat images. You'll need one or more large chocolate bars or chocolate cutouts. Wafer paper with the design of your choice. A nice selection of colored sugars for accents. A small amount of corn syrup. Paintbrush, paring knife, scissors, and some wax paper. Keep in mind, most designs will look better on milk or white chocolate, but you can easily add a thin top coat layer of white if you prefer dark. When adding a top layer, be sure to temper the white chocolate or use candy melts, which do not have to be tempered. One of the easiest ways to make these charming little cards is to apply the paper right to a store-bought chocolate bar. However, in most cases, you will only have enough for one postcard per bar. If you plan on making several cards, you might want to make squares using bulk chocolate. Carefully, cut out the wafer card design. Using a store-bought chocolate bar, cut the chocolate to size. You'll be placing the paper on the back side of the bar. Make sure the edges are level by smoothing with the paring knife if needed. With a paintbrush, paint the back side of the paper with corn syrup. Position the card on the chocolate bar and turn face down on wax paper for at least 30 minutes. Apply corn syrup around the edge of the card and sprinkle colored sugar for a border. Let dry for several hours. Wafer paper will add some texture to your chocolate, but is flavorless and will soon dissolve in your mouth once eaten.